Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of eFootball where things have been going pretty damn well to be honest with this under 2014 that we've got going on because if we jump into the eFootball League online system which was down earlier for some maintenance which is I think Konami do, it's good to see they're trying to fix the issues they've got but if we dive into it right now it's just loading up um yeah we're one win away from getting to div 4 so we are climbing up those rankings which is really really good uh if i move my head up you can see that in the bottom right hand corner we've uh won two games then drew one then got smashed seven two by someone who do you know what it was they played a weird formation again uh, and then a three nil win over someone else as well so we are actually playing very very well at the moment and i've been doing a few offline games and ranking not well off camera games against the ai which allow me to rank up some players so yeah everyone's coming along pretty nicely eze is very good to use lacroix is up to an 80 now which is great uh laconga and gravenberch are coming along nicely camavinga gavi uh, the backup goalkeeper we bought in is doing really really well this guy bayon deer i don't remember if i showed him in the last episode but yeah, he's coming along really well. He's in A form, which makes him absolutely amazing. He's not the best right now, but he has got a lot of growth that he can use. And he's got low punt, penalty saver, and long throw as well. So lots of uh, lots of things to work on there. Unwavering form as well. So he's looking, uh, yeah, he's looking all good. A, a Bayandir. I suggest you go and look him up if you've got the game. He was very cheap. Uh, and a very good young goalkeeper. And, of course, Nunez is coming along well, as well as the striker. Can play up front alongside Vlahovic, or instead of him, it's all going well. You'll see we've reverted back to having one of the two in midfield as a central midfielder. You just, I need that runner from midfield, and that really helps it out. So, yeah, that's the team. Let's go and find the game. And here we are then, a five-star opponent. Again, five-star, I always say that, five-bar opponent. They've all been five-bar, never had anything less playing uh, in Asia. I'm based in Singapore, for those that are new to the channel. So, yeah, I didn't see anything about his team there, his strength or anything like that. We'll have to, or her, their, their team. I should just say their team, not his, not hers. Just say there, cover all bases. My dog has gone somewhere. Hopefully I don't run him over. That seems to be a check every time. But uh, let's go into the game then. Well, we're going to have a look. He's got Kai Havertz, so that's uh, an interesting sign. I want to play in the blue kit because I absolutely love it. And I am trying to find a way to get that to Singapore, that blue kit. Even the home kit or the white kit, to be honest. I think all of Anderlecht's kits are absolutely lovely. He's got a stacked team. Khan, Van Dijk, Puyol, Kimpembe, Aspas, Havertz, Patrick Vieira, Azpilicueta, Pedri, De Bruyne, Romario. Brilliant. Is he playing some weird-ass formation? Yes, he is. He's playing a flat 4-3-3 with three centre-backs. This guy is cheese. Absolute cheese. And I'm saying guy. I'm saying guy. We know it's a guy. Uh, he's playing absolute cheese. Hopefully, we've got some on-form players. Right, Nunes can start up front. Um... Oh, Diego Delo on an up arrow. I've not had Diego Delo on an up before. Uh, I think the young goalkeeper's going to have to come in because LaFont's on a down. Uh, LaCroix. Yeah, let's put LaCroix in for Ibanez. Is Lassant? Yeah, he's left footed. LaCroix's right footed. Okay, that's fine. And. Oh, LaConga's up as well. So we could try and stack the midfield. I'm not going to do that yet. I think we'll do that a little bit later if we need to. I'm just wondering, is this a game where we go two up front? We'll see how it goes. He's Yeah, I mean... He's, he's brought in Sancho, Guardiola, Xavi. Okay, he's, he's... Again, I'm expecting to lose, but... The results we've had, don't lie. I have been playing well. I have been getting wins. So, let's all cross our fingers and toes and see how we get on. Right, at Old Trafford then. So, he's playing as, uh, as Man United. He'll be in that red. We're playing in the blue. He's got M. Bruce. I don't. I think that's Pochettino, uh, actually, the manager. I think that's Pochettino because they don't have the rights to him. So, yes, it'll be very interesting. Very interesting to see how this game unfolds. Keep the ball. Be be patient. Be calm. Is it working? Yes, it is working. Right, we're actually going to start on a slightly more defensive mentality. And because he's sweaty, he's probably going to go for the ball long ball over the top. Oh, no, he hasn't. So, I ran my defender back thinking he might go over the top but uh no he didn't so it's going to be interesting it means he's not okay well, he's given us the, he's given the ball to us straight away so if we just defend sensibly we might be all right here I mean, and he's running his center back towards my strikers which 
Uh, he's running his centre back, sorry, towards my defenders, which fills me with a bit of confidence here. A Langer. In it goes. Musiala couldn't quite get there, but oh, good tackle from Musiala, that one. And Nunes. Oh, go try again. No, cancel it. Oh, he's picked it up. Yes, Camavinga. No, ref. Never a foul. So Guardiola's played the free kick out wide and he's picked up Sancho. Remember, someone that was on our radar. That should be easy for uh, Bayendir to catch, and he does well. Gavi. Let's uh, see if we can get the pace of Doku on it. Oh, Puyol read me going that way. Uh, okay, I think. Yes, Lissandro Martinez. Well read, Musiala. Oh, he's putting pressure on from behind. Camavinga. Ah, oh, oh, it's got through. Musiala. Into Nunes. Darwin Nunes. Great hold up play from the striker. Diego Delo. Doku. Back to Delo again. Diego Delo into Musiala. Musiala gets away from Vieira really well. And Nunes making a great run through the middle. Darwin Nunes. Oh, Oliver Kahn. Great save. It is our first corner of the day. And uh, Gary's on. Let's see if we can actually try something here. Everybody get in a train uh, on the edge. Swing it in there. Musiala with the header. Oh, it's off the line. It's off the line. It was a great little move. And Musiala. Oh, his header was so unlucky. And here comes Guardiola on the attack for Man United, apparently. Uh, out he goes to Jaden Sancho. Finds himself on the left this time. He's got Gavi for a bit of company. And Sancho can try and dribble around all he wants like that. LaCroix, use your pace. Great save from Bedia in goal. End-to-end -end stuff. But off the line at the other end. Oh, Musiala was a fantastic little header. It really, really was. And uh, now, what's this guy going to do here? He's going to try and swing this one in towards the back post. Delos up and... Challenges well with Van Dyke and gets on the rebound as well. And can we break here? Elanga into Musiala. Oh, as I've left that a bit short there. And Musiala needs to get a foot in again. The low. Oh, it's got round him. Oh, LaCroix. LaCroix recovered well, although he's given it away again. And Doku picks up the pieces. And uh, Jeremy Doku's just like, there you go, mate. That's how you show a bit of composure. Gavi flicks it around the corner onto Diego Delo, who we know is up for this game. Flicks it back to Camavinga. Lovely bit of possession, this. Look at that. That's what you need to do. Keep the ball. Lovely stuff. Alanga back into Camavinga. Back to Gomez. Back to Martinez. Move him around. Superb. Delo picks it up. Doko back to Delo again. Put it in field to Gavi. He's a bit of a playmaker for us. Musiala. He's got Doku on the outside. Doku up against Puyo. Goes for a little uh, trick and gets round him. And Diego Delo's got time to weigh this one in towards Darwin Nunes. Gavi. Picks it up. Flicks it back to Camavinga. Camavinga, lovely touch to get around Vieira. Alanga keeps it alive. It's still Camavinga. He's still going. Camavinga and Khan with another fantastic save. What a game. So, Gavi, let's let's try that again, shall we? A little train on the edge and see who we can pick out this time. Gavi is going to swing this one in and that one isn't as good. But it does fall to uh, Delo, who's got a good cross on him here. And he picks out. Oh, it's gone to Puyo, but it's fallen to Camavinga. Oh, is it the post? Elanga. Foul ref penalty. It's got to be a penalty because I bought the ball down. He's given a penalty. And my penalty record so far is missed one, scored one. But Camavinga smashing the post. They've given it to Darwin Nunes. Oh, don't tell me he's our best penalty taker. Oh, my God, he is. Um, okay, well, we're going to go with Darwin Nunes. And we're going to go down here nice and hard. It's a really annoying, shitty little run-up. And he's fired it in. It's the opening blow in the 28th minute. Darwin Nunes from the penalty spot. It's been coming, right? One off the line. We've hit the post. Darwin Nunes. Lovely goal. I don't think we're going to get to see the replay. Not even of the penalty. But we might go and check that out in the highlights afterwards. Because it looked like it was a penalty. It did look like it was going to be a certain penalty. And there we go. I thought he would go for a potential kickoff uh, goal. So I ran the defender back again. Sancho puts a lovely ball in, and that's a fantastic header. That one is a Langa. Looks to fire this across the pitch to J Jeremy Doku. Jeremy Doku, in it goes. Nunes flicks it on, but can't quite get enough connection on it. As uh, Puyol gives that one away really badly. As uh, Nunes does then go out to Doku, who's going to have the pace, surely, to get round Puyol and Doku. He's kept the ball, and he's taken two of the defenders out of it. Doku puts it in. Nunes with the header. A is going to be there. And Alanga, oh, he's, it's great footwork from Alanga. Oh, Musiala, oh, what a save from Oliver Kahn again. It's all CLF United. Another corner. It's, it's going to be like a, it's going to be a highlights package, but it's just been non-stop action, this one. 
As uh, it's fired in. Musiala shot. It's low. Doku on the rebound. I mean, let's be honest. Oliver Kahn nearly saved it. But Jeremy Doku has made it 2-0 to CLF United. Superb stuff. And the corner came in. It was a hit. Great save from Khan. And Doku was there just on the rebound. And it is 2-0. And it's totally, totally deserved. And could we be stepping up to Division 4 as Gavi out to Doku again. who has been an absolute menace on this right-hand side. Musiala couldn't quite control that one. He's run straight into Vieira there. Referee plays a good advantage and then brings it back for the free kick. Five minutes till half-time. 2-0 up. I mean, we know it's not over, right? We know we've, we concede some goals, especially with this team he's got. But we are playing so, so well right now. That's a good uh, good header, that one, as LaCroix can pick that really poor pass up. Diego Delo into Doku. LaCroix out to Delo. Up it goes towards Musiala, and you can see the run coming. Musiala, sensible options. Look at that. Patient, patient play. We now go back to the goalkeeper. If he's going to run his players around like a nutter, that's not a good pass. Bloody hell. Right, ping it into central midfield. There's Camavinga. He can go up towards Musiala. He can turn and feed it out to Diego Delo. Diego Delo sees the run of Darwin Nunes, but it's read really well by, I, I think, Virgil van Dijk. And Patrick Vieira's fouled Camavinga. Lissandro Martinez takes this one into Musiala. Flicks it on us, looking for that run of Elanga. He's going for the cheeky short corner there. As uh, Camavinga's got in the way of that one, Delo. Can ping this one out towards Doku again. Sees Puyol coming. Oh, the footwork from Doku is just incredible. And he's starting to take the piss now. Musiala just goes back to Delo. Up it goes to Doku again. Doku. Oh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And Doku's still going. Jeremy Doku. Oh, what a save from Khan. This boy is on fire. He is so much fun to use. He really, really is Jeremy Doku. That is amazing. Can ping this one out towards Doku again. Sees Puyol coming. Oh, the footwork from Doku is just incredible. And he's starting to take the piss now. Musiala just goes back to Delo. Up it goes to Doku again. Doku. Oh, it's beautiful. So Gavi has the corner again. We're going to keep going for this train one. We've had a really good couple of uh, opportunities for it here. As it goes in again towards Musiala. Van Dijk wins this one. Half time. 2 nil up. Jeremy Doku is playing so, so well. And, yeah, we're just absolutely on fire. I'm going to quickly look because he went in and did something to his team. I'll just, he's put Aspas up front. He's switched Vieira and Guardiola around to try and get control of the midfield. But it's just not happening for him when you think about it. And, yeah, this is awesome. Okay, 2-0 up. Start the second half. Can we keep this momentum going? As uh, LaCroix just passes it around the back. And he's tr he's trying to pressure us. But he can't get near the ball. He really can't. Sergio Gomez does give it away there a little bit. Camavinga will pick this one up though. Chess it down. Gives it back to Vieira. Felt a bit sorry for him. Giving it away that easily. Sancho. Looking for his runners. And he picks out Aspas. Great tackle. That's not a penalty. I've got the ball ref. I've got the ball. In it comes here. He's not going to let us watch it. That's soft. That felt soft. Right. Iago Aspas against Biandir, who is an absolute giant. And, oh, I was going to stay down the middle. Oh, and he's made it 2-1. And that's what I mean. We can't get complacent. Iago Aspas makes it 2-1 for United. Well, it's just CLF United. But it's uh, Man United who are back in the game. A bit of a lucky penalty. We'll see how it goes. Here it is. Xavi. Oh, I've sort of kicked through the back of him, but I didn't think it was. He took it so quickly. I should have known he was going down the middle. But what I did like about that is how tall Bayandir is in goal. He was an absolute giant. But 2-1. We're not going to change how we're playing because I feel like we've uh, we've got the advantage here. As Gavi flicks it inside to Camavinga. Out to Musiala. We know that we've got goals in us here. As Diego Delo can come forward with this one. Musiala can hold on to it. Give it to Dooku. He's been causing troubles all day. And there's a nice little step over. Tries to put the ball in. And, uh, oh, it's, wow, he's just not. This guy just is not confident at the back. And if we can keep making interceptions like that, that would be very helpful. Nunes out to Alanga. Lovely step over. Can he get there before Trent? No, he can't. And Sancho will uh, pick the ball up. And this is where he's going to have his runners. Inzaghi. Great tackle, tackle from Delo. Doku into Nunes. Musiala. And go on, Nunes. Go on, Nunes. Great battling. Doku. Oh, it's just he's given Puyol such a torrid time today. And Delo 
in so much space. Fires it across. Intercepted really well by Kimpembe. And uh, it's cleared away. And that is, you can see what he's doing there. Just massive long balls to try and get it to his danger man strikers. Gavi. Alanga. Musiala. Musiala flicks it through. Darwin Nunes is in. Darwin Nunes. Oh, it's 3-1. The two-goal lead is back. And Darwin Nunes is on fire. That A form, his finishing is super. We've boosted it a little bit. And that is 3-1. Come on. What a performance we're having here. Up it goes. Inzaghi looks for Aspas. Aspas is just waiting for his runners. That's going to be so easy for Gomez to pick that one off. Camavinga. Turn up to Alanga. Nothing, nothing on in front of him. Actually turned back into... Vieira. Sancho tries to push that one through and zagi has got the better of Gavi. Turns. Oh, it's off the inside of the post. Sergio Gomez keeps it alive. Gets a little bit of luck. We're going to hoof this one away. And, uh, well, I've actually gone to pick out Doku. He is giving Puyol a very torrid time on that right-hand side. And if we can get the ball to him now, he's going to have the pace. So, and that's a foul, ref. It's got to be a foul. He's given a foul. Doku's so much fun to play with, man. Right, we're going to go for a big cross-field pass. It might get intercepted there. Oh, no. Sergio Gomez is going to have plenty of time to bring that one down into Nunes. And, oh, he's got very, very lucky with that tackle. Because I pulled out a bit of skill. And uh, he had timed the tackle. I mean, you can say well, but he got lucky. Musiala into Nunes again. Nunes. I haven't quite got the pace there. But we can pick out Doku, who we know is a bag of tricks. But that time did nothing and made it very easy for Guardiola, who's given it straight away to Musiala. Saw Patrick Vieira running out in full pelt and that is horrendous and should be a red card referee. That should be a red card. That is a horrible, horrible tackle on the youngster. If that is that any sort of card? Is there any sort of card for that? I don't think there is, which is an absolute disgrace. Now, does he know how to move the goalkeeper? Yes, he does. And it's over the wall. Oh, Oliver Kahn with a well-positioned and Sergio Gomez can't quite make that interception there as Camavinga does. Thank you very much, Sergio Gomez. Up to Gavi. Up to Doku. Doku again. Just dancing around these players for fun. Oh my god, Doku. This is absolutely superb. And he's getting frustrated. Up to Doku. Doku again. Just dancing around these players for fun. Oh my god, Doku. This is absolutely superb. He's 3-1 down to a team full of youngsters. And Jeremy Doku is just taking the piss. Oh my word, Doku. Take a bow, my son. What a performance this is. Martinez can just play it there to Gavi. He's in so much space. Burst through the middle. Gavi flicked inside and Khan makes the catch. Oh, it, what a joy this is. What a joy. He's gone all out attack as well, which means we're going to have a bit more space in behind as Diego Delo holds this one up. Musiala into Gavi. Gavi tries to flick it down towards Jeremy Doku. Jeremy Doku swings the cross in, looking for Nunes. Darwin Nunes! Oliver Kahn, great save again. And you've got to say, if it wasn't for Kahn, this could have been really embarrassing for him because Oliver Kahn has made some superb saves. And because he's chucking so many men forward, I might bring on Lukonga in a minute and just shore up our central midfield with two holding midfielders as Doku picks up this time. Shows too much of it to Carlos Puyo, although a bit of a mistake at the back as an error there. Although Puyo has just stormed through the back and lays that one off. And, uh, well, we've got enough people to cover that. We'll go Lacroix back to the goalkeeper, boots it away. It's another horrendous tackle. And that one... I think is a red card because Lacroix, the pass had gone and Iago Aspas is going to be banned for the next game for this guy and we may see a, uh, a quit here to be honest because he's 3-1 down with not long to go and I think he's abandoned the match. Boom. What a win. We're up to Division 4. What a performance. What a performance. Jeremy Doku was absolutely superb. For some reason, Gravenberch, who didn't even get on the pitch, has, uh, has got it. But yeah. Division 4, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now, one of my friends did say a very interesting thing you can do is because you've already got promotion, if you don't skip the remaining matches and just play, so we've played 6 out of 10. If we play the remaining 4 matches with people that are not care about the result and we just want to get the points to upgrade, then why don't we do that? It's 4 matches of getting experience points for players. So I think off-camera... That is what we're going to do. But that was a superb performance. And Jeremy Doku, oh my word, what a player. What a player to use. And I think we're going to go and give him 
some very special uh, training stuff. That, that We're picking up these training things, right, in this inbox, these 4,000 training program. And I think we're going to start using a couple of those on some of our players and really get them to be the next level. And I think after what can only be described as his man of the match performance back in an Anderlecht shirt for a prolific winger, Jeremy Doku, I think he is going to be uh, one of these players. We've got 20. Look how many of these training things we've got. Right. That's going to give him 36 progression points. Brilliant. Let's go and absolutely smash the hell out of Doku's training. Right. He's at 97 as well for the proficiency we want. I mean, I just say we whack it all in dribbling, maybe a bit in passing. The speed would be good. I mean, his dribbling is so good anyway. Like, two points to upgrade. So let's take that up. 81 dribbling. That's crazy. Right, let's get his passing up a bit as well. We'll get 20 points into... We'll get, well, eight points into that. We can go for his balance and his offensive awareness as well. Let's And then we'll put the last 10 into speed and stamina, I guess. Jeremy Doku is really getting an upgrade. And that is what we're going to go for. So he's currently a 75 rated right winger. With all those changes, he becomes an 82. An 82. Oh my word, Jeremy Doku. I am going to have so much fun with these upgrade tokens. This is going to be ridiculous. And thinking about it. We've got Lafont as a 79. I'm just wondering. Uh, we can quickly do Gravenberch's upgrades because he's got two points to use just normally anyway. So, uh, what's your. Yeah, you're at 95, so that's fine. Let's get you. I wanted you to just be an absolute beast in defense. So, we'll go dribbling and aerial prowess. From a 75, that takes him to a 76. So, there's a bit of progress there. But I was thinking about uh, potentially where's our other goalkeeper there he is bay and deer and just going through and saying let's give you a few of these as well let's give you four of them and we can turn you oh, that maybe a bit too much let's give you two because it's going to give you 22 progression points and still leave us with loads we've got so many training xps to use it's absolutely ridiculous i didn't even realize we had that many so you're a 94 for out wide. So let's just put all of this into... So 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Leaves us with 10 points. So that'll be 2 there, 2 there, 2 there. And then we'll go... So jumping in awareness, 74, 74. Parrying, 73, 75. Okay, let's go catching and reflexes. 70, 78. And then go... Uh, goalkeeper awareness. Yeah, I mean, that's going to turn him from a 74 into a 81 <laughs> oh my god oh i love this game i love the fact you can upgrade people however you want it is it is incredible and i didn't realize we hadn't been using this so like i mean musiala is also on a form at the moment the forms are going to change very soon so i don't want to use too much of those xp trainers because we're going to have to see who else is on form but Man, this is incredible. We might do Sergio Gomez as well, because left back's a bit of a weak spot. I mean, it'd be great to rank up Alanga as well. Vashard and Sartre. We could have a beast team here. It could be really good. Z Luka Zahovic. I really should give Luka Zahovic something, because I've actually been playing him and, and upgrading him ever so slowly. But if we give him, let's say, two of these as well, 38 progression points. Yes, please. Right, he's currently a 65. Let's see what we can get Luka Zahovic to. So, player progression. Uh, he's a 98 for out wide, so that's totally fine. Right, shooting will get you up to that. Passing will put you up as well to four. Uh, dribbling, let's put you up to four. Lower body strength, put that up four as well. And dexterity, we might as well do four as well. Right, so shooting. Let's get his finishing up to a 72. I think that's pretty good. Not worried about set pieces. Uh, dribbling, I'd like your dribbling to be up a lot higher as well. So let's get that up to 73 ball control. That's pretty good. Uh, acceleration is fine. Offensive awareness is good. Uh, speed could do with a bit of a boost as well. And then the last six points, I think we're going to whack into dribbling. And yeah, dribbling there. And then it leaves us with two points. So we'll put them into passing for now. And he's going to go from a 65 to... 
A 72. Come on. Excellent stuff. See Luka Zahovic getting up there as well. Oh my God, this is so much fun. So much fun. I'm absolutely loving this if you can't tell. So a fantastic win up to Division 4 and some lovely player progression done as well. What an episode. Leave me a like. Subscribe if you're new. Plenty more eFootball stuff coming. Don't worry, City Skylines is going to be recorded very soon. It just takes longer to then edit those videos. But uh, yeah, I'm absolutely loving this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.